morning. Hi, good morning. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wendy. Yeah. Wendy. We'll get it. Back shower, huh? Yeah. The bathroom here. It's tiny. Okay. <laughs> Little guy, huh? Very small. Okay, so so how did you find out that it was leaking? When we bought the house, actually, the inspector said it was leaking. And okay. we had intended after we purchased to renovate mm -hmm. this bathroom. And we renovated the master bathroom and okay. got the inspection signed off literally the day before shutdown happened in oh, 2020. Really? Oh, so this wow. was the next project on the list. And so... And so how long? It got is, cut. So when did so you bought the house in 2019? 2019, okay. In November of 2019, and we've never used that shower. Okay. And I would love to have access to it just for a quick shower in the morning, you know, yeah. instead of like the mm -hmm. big shower. So the inspector it just noted on his report that mm -hmm. it had been leaking. Yeah, and you can see the big crack in the yeah in the base, mm -hmm. and I think they went under the house and tested it. And okay. It well, we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do. I'll get it. Do can I get under the house? Mm -hmm. I can show okay. you. Okay. <laughs> do you want to go under the house? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I want to, but I might I might need to just to look up and see if there's any water damage to the the to wood the under wood. there. Okay. We'll see. I don't know. I'll take a peek in there. Okay. If it's too tight, I won't go, but if I can get in there, I, I might go under there. We've had some pretty big guys go down there. So Have you? <laughs> All right. Be okay, then I should I should be able to fit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so what we'll do is I'll I'll do some inspection. I'm going to have to remove the pan okay. and get down to the waterproofing and find that that failure point and then see if we can do a repair. I mean, ideally, would you just want to repair what we have without doing a full a redo or are you I don't prepared? know, it's tricky because of this like cutout and stuff here. Uh, so yeah. I feel like if we take the whole shower, then it's like, oh, we have to replace the countertop now. And you know, it's like one thing leads to another leads to another. Yeah. So I'm open to either just fixing the bottom or yeah. If we have to, gut the whole thing. Okay. All right, Wendy. Well, yeah, we're going to get busy here and we'll plastic everything off and then remove some stuff and then okay. I'll come back. I took Once... as much out as I could. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No, you did a great job. <laughs> so, yeah, as soon as, as soon as I find out what's going on, I'll pull you back in here and let you know and we'll okay. go from there. Great. It looks like, I, I don't think it's a hot mop. It's a cast iron drain. Cast iron drain. And uh, I can see the weep holes. It's got some big weep holes in it. But uh, yeah, it's definitely cracked. Look at these big cracks in it. Big old cracks in this pan. So something's going on here. This shower, I'm guessing, was probably, I'm guessing, early 80s, maybe even late 70s from the looks of it. And she wants to try to save it if we can. I mean, it would be cool if, if we could do that. I mean, we could always, we couldn't, wouldn't be able to find this wall tile anymore, but we could just change to like a white four by four dowel tile ceramic or something and maybe patch this in. But um, I think before I bust this pan out, I think I want to get underneath Zach and take a look from up above and see if I can see any like termite damage or water damage from under there. So, I hate crawling under houses. I don't like spiders. I don't like spider webs. I don't like uh, rats. I don't like any of that stuff. But uh, it's a pretty short, short, uh, pretty short crawl. So I'm gonna do it. I'll just put my sweatshirt on and let's go go check it out. Oh, and uh, before I do that, check out this. Check out this wallpaper. It's got like never seen wallpaper with gorillas with their skeleton ribcage showing <laughs> totally different it's amazing that they even make wallpaper like this but homeowner digs it wendy digs it i think it's cool uh, kind of a jungle theme of this this bedroom here almost like maybe not jungle rainforest i like when people do things different you know not just run in the mill cookie cutter stuff definitely different different style I always encourage people when they're designing their spaces for their home, you know, you're not designing it for everybody else, you're designing it for you. It's your living space. And it really captures, what do you say, their uh, personality. So, all right, man, I'm gonna grab this hoodie 
and let's go do some crawling. Yeah. Here's the crawl space. There's I don't know, space. it's pretty tiny, but I think a lot of this is well, just... I think I can get in there. I just had it repainted, so it might be a little stuck in the thing pretty hard. Yeah. No, I think I can get in there, Zach. I don't know. It it looks yeah, it looks manageable. I'll take a look. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's not too far, huh? Yeah, it's, it's about this room's down. like Oh there's six. another is there another access right there? Oh I don't know. Maybe. Let's see, that's a way closer. Huh. That's off. Right and this is this is the bathroom right here. Yeah. yeah so Oh, That's yeah. way closer. Oh, there we go. Nice. So, oh, yeah. Six feet that way or seven feet that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, this so is. Over and this Cool. Yeah, this is a lot of Beautiful. Okay, thanks, Wendy. Yep. Okay. I figured you'd send me in there to get the shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's the bathroom window right here. So we really couldn't have lucked out any better. But yeah, usually we only have a crawl space about 18 inches is I think the minimum crawl space. So it's not like back east where you guys have basements and everything, it's real easy. So some of our crawl spaces are pretty tight. And yeah, you run into all kinds of things down there sometimes, dead animals and spiders and critters. Uh, this one actually looks pretty clean. It doesn't look too bad. Obviously spider webs up here, but let's go check it out. Yeah. All right, Zach. Yeah, if you can, you hand me the camera. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So there's the shower right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Let me turn the water on. Uh, yeah. Actually, that might be a good idea, Zach. Yeah. Go ahead and run the water for a little bit. There's the, uh, there's the shower. There's the shower. You can definitely see a little bit of water damage up there. Me... Zach's gonna go turn on the water and see if we can get any water coming through there. Yeah, here's evidence of the, the water staining here, but I don't see a ton of water damage. Oh, actually, oh, there's the drip. So Zach's running the water and we got the drip coming down. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get this other angle. <laughs> yeah, you can see we got a ton of water coming down now. Um, got a little bit there, and then it's dripping on the other side of this big, this big girder here. But definitely, definitely, definitely got a good leak coming down. Looks like it's right at the base of that drain. So. We'll shut the water off. Hey, Zach? Yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and shut that water off now. Uh, 
I'm having Zach turn the water off. Then we'll go back in and figure out where it's leaking, how it's leaking. Okay, so Zach just turned the water off. Hopefully this thing drains out here pretty quick. So yeah, let's go. Let's go see what's going on. I'll crawl back out of here, get up there. That sucker was leaking pretty bad. I mean, it just started pouring almost as soon as, as soon as Zach started getting the water run and that water started pouring. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's up with the waterproofing, but there's gotta be a big either tear in whatever waterproofing or it's just non-existent. What I'm surprised of is there's not much water damage from underneath. Usually when you get a leak that bad, the, you know, things rot out. But maybe because it's on a crawl space, and there's just, you know, a lot of airflow. Maybe it got used and it would just dry out. But I don't know. So yeah, let's let's get up here and we'll tear out that pan and see where that leak is happening from. But it's gotta be right near the drain because it's coming right on the outside of that drain pipe. Uh, so yeah, we'll go figure it out. <laughs> Luckily there wasn't any insulation under there though. A lot of times those crawl spaces have insulation hanging on the on the bottom of the subfloor and you just get itchy and covered with stuff, but I just got dirty spider webs. No biggie. Alright, so let's uh, get this pan torn out and find out where this leak is. So I'm gonna need uh so I'm gonna need uh, the I should probably just start with should I start with the grinder or the jackhammer, Zach? What do you uh, think? Usually the jackhammer will blow right through that. Okay, yeah, we'll see if, if the jackhammer will get it going. And then I'll start right near the drain and just punch a hole. And then we should be able to pry these pieces up in big chunks. So let me get some hearing protection. Do you have any safety stuff, Zach? Or... Yeah. Okay, yeah. A trip. I've never seen this one. And look, I thought there was no waterproofing at all. Like I'm just looking down here and I'm looking at bare wood. I'm gonna get in on this, Zach, see if we can, can you focus in on this. But there is, what they did is they, they put just a layer of, of really thin tar paper and it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty much gone now. But this is the waterproofing. I think it was just 15 pound roofing felt. That's that's the waterproofing right there. See, it's it just yeah, it just crumbles when it. So yeah, that's just like that aqua bar paper that we use. It is so thin. Yeah, it's just it just comes apart. I don't even think it's 15 pound roofing felt. So yeah, they 
they tried to waterproof this. I mean, they, you can see they, they, they use tile and bits of tile in here to, to block the weep holes and stuff. That's what this tile is down here to try to keep the weep holes free. Um, but yeah, I've never seen them try to use just 15 pound roofing felt. I wonder what they even tried to do in the corners and everything. Pretty much no waterproofing. And so everything was getting down to the pan. There's no pre-slope either. There's no pre-slope under that tar paper. So water just went in there and just drained right through. It's really surprising there's not more water damage underneath. You know, if you, usually when you see stuff like this, it's, but again, this was before plywood. So maybe, maybe it doesn't act like a sponge as much. It's just planks. Again, it's just two by six planks. So you know, maybe that wood is just was able to dry out in between uses, <laughs> kind of like a Schluter system, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> held up, you know, without rotting the whole thing out. Because typically when we see this, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, there's water. It, it just goes and everything's mush and falling apart. But uh, really interesting. So yeah, let's get the rest of this pan out, Zach, and we'll see. We'll see what we, we find. <clears throat> yeah, there's our waterproofing. Roofing felt. Shit. Bare plywood under here. Yeah, I wonder if this is the way that they used to do it, man. I mean, I wonder if this was like a, a thing because the tile is installed really well. You know? So, it's not like this was a hack job and the tiles, I mean, but they might not have used it very long. waterproofing layer right there. Not much to it. It's almost just like paper with a little bit of tar in it. I'm sure. Yeah. All right, so we got the pan out all cleaned up. Again, I'm really surprised that, you know, the quality of the tile, this was done on a mortar bed. It's 45 years old. The tile looks beautiful. I mean, it's like really, really good tile job, but just like no waterproofing, no pre-slope. They just use roofing felt on the bottom. And I don't, I don't know how long that lasted. It probably didn't last long. This has probably been leaking for a long time. But again, I think because we don't have any plywood and these are two by six tongue and groove planks, it's Doug fir. I think it's Doug fir. It might be redwood, but I think it's Doug fir. Yeah, it's just dug for uh, two by sixes. You know, maybe because they have some, some grooves in them and space to allow airflow underneath. That's the only thing that I can think of that kept this from rotting out completely. But there is like no, no fungus growth, no mold. It's, it's amazing that this was done so poorly, lack of waterproofing and it, it's been here for 45 years or so. Yeah, I'm guessing, again, I would say 1980. Let me know what you think. If you see this tile, you're, you know, kind of this era, I'm guessing 1980, could be earlier. could be like 70. I mean, my grandpa's bath, I mean, this could be original with the house, which was probably around 1960. This, Zach, this reminds me of my, remember my grandpa's bath we did? Yeah. And uh, it re well, it reminds me of my, my grandpa's bath we did. I'll put, I'll put a link to that video in the description, but it's the same type of tile. And that house was built in 1960. That shower was done in 1960. And this looks like the same stuff. So 
I don't know, I'm guessing it's at least 45 years old. It could probably be 65 years old. But, uh, you know, I don't know how long it, it lasted. It's, it's been leaking for a while and, and uh, you know, I'm gonna have to have a conversation with uh, Wendy that, you know, it's at least gonna need a repair going up to here. Um, but let me grab her. We'll give her the bad news here. I guess there's some good news too. It could have been worse. Could always be worse, I guess. So let's grab Wendy. We'll see. Give her, give her the lowdown here. Words just get mixed <laughs> up. I, so let's see. What do you think, Zach? What do you think? This is can you maybe you just come right. Me or her? You. Maybe. Yeah, that actually looks cool. Yeah, I like that. With the gorillas in the background. Yeah. Yes, the gorillas. <laughs> okay. You ready? Is there a background, or is it? What's the story on that? Just curious. I'm just weird. Cool. <laughs> I like it. That's awesome. It no, cool. I like unique things. I like color and I like something that people are going to look at and go, oh. oh you know, because wow. from back there, you look at it and you just think it's like a fancy wallpaper and you walk up and you go, what is that? <laughs> yeah, no, that, yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, because it kind of blends in and then mm -hmm. you look at it, go, oh, gorilla. Oh, oh. ribcage. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's chilling. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I like it. All right, we're rolling, Zach? Yeah. Okay, Wendy, I got some good news and some bad news for okay. you. Uh, the bad news is is that there, there was no waterproofing in the shower. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's like, like none. They use like a, like a really thin roofing felt. And I think maybe that's what they did back then when they built this shower. Do you know how old the house is? The house is 1959. 59, so I was right. So this is probably original with the house. Yeah, it looks that era. Yeah, and so, yeah, so how old is that, 40? That's 65 years old. So I think back then they probably didn't have the waterproofing products that we, okay. we have today. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and I think they just used roofing felt and it probably lasted a while and then it was time for it to be redone. So okay. um, regardless where we're at now is to replace it, we would have to at least go up like to this high yeah take it all out okay and we can do the waterproofing and repair it um, but there's a lot of work in that and I don't know if it'd be worth it because you know your shower's only this high yeah then at that point Just unless you're the whole thing. yeah unless you're really trying to save like the tile yeah and then you also have the plumbing fixtures mm -hmm. which I would suggest you know they're gonna go at some point here yeah. soon so we'd have to do that so okay um, the good news is, is that there, you know, there wasn't any wood water damage. It's amazing that there was that much water coming through and there was like, there's no mold, there's no fungus damage, there's no yeah. termites. I mean, the wood is all structurally sound. Great. So okay. that's, that's really good. So it's not like it, because usually when we run into these, it, you know, runs into all the other areas and then you're then you're in a big old mess. So well, I think we hadn't used it in four years. And then I think the people prior to us probably hadn't used it in about 15 years. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's just been sitting dry yeah, for 20 plus years. Yeah. And they might have, you know, the, the other owners might, might have noticed a leak and just been like, look, we can't use it. So, you know, yeah, maybe. I think, I, I think know. they used this room for their kids when the kids lived here and when they mm -hmm. moved out probably in the eighties, they probably never got used again. So yeah, who knows? It might even be longer. Yeah, so that's that's the good news. So, um, so yeah, that's what it is. I, I would suggest a, a complete replacement, and okay. I can talk to you about what that would cost if sure. you want us to do it. Absolutely. And you can always, yeah. but now at least too, you know what's going on, so that if you want to do get other bids, you can talk to other contractors okay. too, and you know exactly what needs to be done. Yeah, because so. before it was, I was saying I needed some work done, but it'd be like, well, we can't give you a real quote until we know what's yeah. actually going on. So this at yes. least gets me to a good stage where I can figure out what it's going to cost. Anyway, so yeah, thanks a lot, Wendy. I appreciate Great. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, you're welcome. So yeah, I'll be in touch with you. Okay.